Hello and welcome back to another SQL tutorial. This is video number 11 of the series and uh, the purpose of today's video is to start using the graphic user interface to access database and connect to the database. So simply you go to start, go to all programs and you have already installed Oracle Database 10G Express Edition. Click here, database, go to database homepage and I have uh, decreased the size of the window so you can have a better look. So this is a web-based application provided by Oracle. Most vendors do provide you with uh, their own graphic user interface or command line interface. So we have already used command line interface. We have to type in the username and password, login, and you are presented with this uh, page that has five options. All options have some drop down menus. Right now, we'll go to SQL and we'll go to SQL commands and enter commands. As soon as you uh, click enter commands, you have this uh, interface. This is the area where you can enter SQL commands and this is the area where you can see the results. It will accept all the commands that you have been using from command line interface. So run here and you only have got uh, one table one database object which is phone you can also see the structure of this uh, table and you have because you have two commands you can highlight this to run this command only and you can run so this is the structure of the table uh, table is phone there are four columns serial number name p number and address uh, data type is mentioned here in this column the width of the uh, if you have defined the width of the data type it's mentioned here this has primary key applied to it and the rest of the values are null able you can enter null values in this uh, in, in these three columns so let me take this opportunity to show you how to create a table uh, from scratch and apply some database rules that uh, do not uh, compromise the the integrity of the database so we'll create another table with a similar number of columns and uh, same data types we'll have to use a different uh, table name so create table we'll use ph instead of phone and open bracket the first column is serial number the data type is number and the it is something very simple to add a primary key here simply write primary key in front of the column after the after you have mentioned the data type and then you have to use comma as a separator second column is name and the data type is varchar2 and the width of the column is 20 characters and this time we don't want people people to enter null values in this column so this is how you apply this not null restriction not null this is another constraint the third uh, column is p number and the data type is number you don't have to define the the width of the numbers there's a default and this column has to be not null as well the last column is address and the data type is varchar2 width of the column is 50 characters here and this cannot be null as well so bracket close semicolon and then you can simply let me check the everything is right ph number primary key name uh, and i'll simply run it table created in two seconds so if you describe if you select asterisk from uh, from cat which is a view catalog because there are two statements I'll highlight this statement which I want to run and I'll simply press run so there are two tables now one phone is the table that we created earlier with the help of command line interface and the second one we just created if you describe the structure of the second table describe ph and now you can see there is a primary key attached to serial, num uh, serial number column 
and none of the columns are none able if you apply a primary key to a column you cannot enter a duplicate value and you cannot enter a null value so this has been taken care of by the primary key which is defined here and for the rest of the three columns we have uh, assigned not null constraint to all three columns thank you very much